Also, the Lagos State Police Command on Wednesday said it would extend the enforcement of the ban on gatherings of more than 25 persons to market and stores to prevent the spread of coronavirus in the state. The state public relations officer, Bala El Kana, said in a statement that the enforcement will be extended to markets and stores except those where food and medicinal items are being sold. He also stated that financial institutions and telecommunications companies not affected by the ban should ensure compliance with the government's directive of not having more than 25 persons on duty. El Kana stated the Lagos State Police Command had in the last six days deployed its resources across the state to ensure that the guidelines and directives issued by both the federal and state governments to prevent the spread of coronavirus are fully obeyed. And joining us live in the studio is social analyst Anihuivi Ayeni. Thank you for joining us this afternoon on News of the Hour. Benny. Now, the Lagos State Government on Monday issued public transportation guidelines to operators and passengers to cope for the spread of the virus in buses, cabs, and motor parks and garages. But unfortunately, the level of compliance is very low. What is critical and needed at this point? Well, how low is low? It's not really that low because yeah. there is some compliance. There isn't some compliance. The, it's like the, some the atmosphere. We, we yes. need 100% compliance. The atmosphere yeah. of Lagos State is like a fast moving train. Okay. To, to stop a fast moving train is not the same way you stop a car. The, the automatic brake is still going to take some yards before it finally stops. And remember, these are people whose daily living depends on going out and coming in. Yeah. If the government can give them incentives, give them measures to say, okay, because of this coronavirus, certain, certain things that are used every single day have been reduced to this amount and made available here and there. Maybe people can believe in something that will make them think that, okay, let me, let me comply with this. But it, it Lagos is a fast-moving train. Okay. You, you can't you stop just it immediately. You just say as, as, as a solution, you prefer the solution while speaking that they should be given some incentives. Yes. But what do you think, aside the incentive, the, the Lagos State Government can do more to ensure people comply to this directive? This is where the power of the government comes in. The government has, they have all the information, they have everything in front of them, they have all the comments, all the histories and everything. They know what they can do to palliate people's fears. They know what they can do. If I had information in front of me, I could say, okay, for example, a lot of people buy Gary, maybe more of it will be made so that it can be made available to people more so that the price do increase in the market and, and scare people off. Government has all the information. Let people know what you can do within your power to make people feel better than, about what is happening. And, and because the concern here is a public system, how people get to commute from their homes to yes. their daily places of, um, of, um, of work. Now, do you think it would be a drastic measure if the government should actually put a shutdown on the transport system? It's going to be a very drastic measure because one of the things, I, I speak here as an administrator, one of the things that everybody seems to forget in business is that it takes the background to make business going. For you to see something in front, in the front burner, it means that a lot of work has gone on at the back. These are cleaners, these are market people, these are not just market women, these are cleaners, these are cooks, these are, these are people who are doing their jobs, whose daily jobs depend on the progress of the organization. That anybody is sitting down in the media house, even us, us sitting down here today, there are people who had to come to work and had to commute if they cannot come to work, it's going to, it's going to be chaotic for businesses. Now, what, what, would, what would your recommendations be, given the fact that um, on the, for the transport sector, with, with the ravaging COVID-19, what would you recommend um, as virtually it's impacting every sector of the human activity and life, what would you be a recommendation for Lagos State as it, as it is for their transport sector? We don't want to hear just from the Lagos State Governor. We yeah. want the Niger Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers, okay. um, the director, the man in charge. We want to hear what he has told his men to do. Because once they hear from him, they can obey him and do what he has said. If they said carry only 10 or 15 people in the bus, they will adhere to it because that is what everybody else is doing. But when they now see that whether they carry 20 or they carry 30, nobody else is, no, nobody is penalizing them for what they are doing. Yes. They keep on doing what they are doing. Yes, it's necessary for these people to move around because, like I said, the fast-moving train is, has to do with every aspect of our lives, from personal to community to everything that we do. We're a fast-moving train. So it's now time for us to hear from the National Union of Road Transport Workers, the leaders, what are you doing to ensure that with the people that are working with you are complying with the directives of the government? Social analyst Anuhi Viayeni, thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour.